I'm Emma. I'm Justin. And this is our bus wheel on wheels. So right when you walk in the door, we have grass for our stairs. So when we walk in, we can just wipe our feet off. And then right when you walk in as well, there's a stair, uh, there's a shoe storage area right here. And that's been really helpful because in the beginning we didn't have any shoe storage. And so we were struggling to find somewhere to put our shoes. Um, and then we just have some miscellaneous items in a bin right here. And then just little collections that we have as well. And then right when you walk in, we have, this was just nothing in here. Um, so we made it storage and it's just backpacks, another miscellaneous item. And then here we just have our panels of electrical for the bus. We can run our rock light that we have out front and the rock lights that we have out back on that panel. And then here we have all of our light switches. So this is my favorite part. I did all the solar, which I was really excited about having been able to do that when Justin did the plumbing. And so we have three separate light switches. And so one for the front, one for the middle, one for the back. And it's really nice when we are sitting, say Justin's in the back of the bed and I'm in the front, we can just have one light switch on that's gonna help keep him asleep and me working. And then also we have another light switch right here. And that just goes over the dinette right here. And then over the dinette, this is my favorite, favorite part of the bus because it converts into a couch. Um, a bed and then it's like a four-seater booth. Okay, and then right here, I just have a shelving unit for all of my art supplies. So I have um, my Cricut and then some paint brushes over there and then some books, which I tend to read. And then right here, I have all of my paints. So we have Gamblin um, oil paints and that's what I paint with. And they actually have been amazing and haven't moved at all. Uh, I just have Velcro on it and then they're nailed in. Right here, we have our solar section. So under here is just a bunch of solar um, related items, really. And then we've got one battery, a charge controller, an inverter, 3000 watt um, DC to AC. It's really, really nice to have just because it does do really well. And we haven't had any issues so far. And then this is like a couch that we kind of did last minute because we didn't have any other ideas for it. We're trying to decide whether we want to do a furnace or just leave it how it is. And then right here is my, also, I have many favorite parts of the bus. This is the kitchen and the kitchen holds so much storage, which in the beginning before our renovations, we had absolutely no storage. Um, so right here we have just my, it's confusing. I have my art storage right here and then also our kitchen storage. Um, so we have to open this to get to our fridge like that. And then our fridge is pretty, pretty big. Um, we just have to dig for everything really. And we do have child locks for everything, uh, which has been really nice because we don't have to strap anything up. So like before we were using bungee cords and the bungee cords would constantly fly off and then we would forget that they were even like we had to even put them on um, and then we have pretty long storage space with these drawers we just have forks spoons knives all the necessary or the necessary items that you need for a kitchen and then another miscellaneous item junk drawer we have a lot of those throughout the bus and then right here we just keep all of our pots and pans all of that and it's a pretty long big drawer which has been really nice to have and then in this big drawer we have our garbage can that step stool which has really been nice to have and because that's what I was accustomed to back home was the step stool um, and then we have a five gallon gray water tank and that just comes from our sink so we actually don't have a big gray, uh, gray water tank in the bottom of the bus and then this is Justin's favorite part. It's the oven and it's a Camp Chef oven. We have a two burner stove and then the actual oven itself. And we love cooking on it. We haven't had any issues. Actually below we have an 11 pound propane hookup that we actually just installed yesterday because we've been meaning to do it. We were like, let's just get it done. And it's been awesome so far. I mean, it's only been a day, but I'm sure that it's gonna last a while because we haven't had any issues with the one pound. It would last us 10 days um, just on one pound. And then up here, we have a bunch of storage. We just keep all of our pots, pans, and plates in this section. 
and then in the middle, um, soap, detergent, wipes, and just snacks and salt, all that kind of stuff. And then in here, we again just have a bunch of just random, random items um, like snacks, cereal, and Ziploc bags. Again, everything's kind of everywhere. So the way we ended up living this lifestyle is we're both 19 and at 17 years old we, we've been together since we were 15 so at 17 we were trying to figure out what should we do with our lives and we had the option of college or staying at home and doing nothing which just didn't work for us. Um, our YouTube homepage was full of bus lifers and van lifers and uh, it caught our eye and we thought well maybe we can do it for a month or two, um, you know, live in a schoolie then go back to normal life uh, and just enjoy traveling for a little bit but then we started to really like hone in on the idea of just doing it full time and so at 18 years old we decided we're gonna go bus life and so we bought the bus in 2021 and in the month of January and just started working on the bus as soon as we got it and it's been 10 months of just going at it every weekend or so. Justin did all the plumbing for this section, so he knows a little bit more about it than I do, but um, we do get to take hot showers. Our hot water heater outside literally warms it up so amazingly, and we can take really long showers if we have enough water in the tank. Um, we do have like a makeshift toilet, actually. <laughs> so uh, the compostable toilets are like $1,000, and ours was maybe like a total of $20, and it's been perfectly fine. We just have a separate water tank. Uh, we have a separate tank for our urine. Um, that's the only issue is we're trying to make that a one big thing. Um, and we just have some storage in here as well, just toothbrushes and all of that kind of stuff. Up here we have our cabinets, just things that we need for nighttime, iPad, charger, that kind of stuff. This is my favorite part of decor in the bus. We just have like an arch back here and it's a frame with Rosie that I drew. It was really, really cute. So I do have to get on the bed for this part. It's the closet and the closet is it's pretty big for a bus. I'm really excited about how amazing it's been. So we do have all of our clothes hanging up. We have a bunch of storage and laundry hampers down at the bottom. Under the bed, we have 65 gallons of water uh, fresh water and we have a bunch of storage under there and it's been amazing to have so much space under the bed and it not be shown. Okay and then right here we actually have insulated curtains so it's drop cloth fabric from Home Depot and we just have two layers of that and then insulation as you can see in between. And I just sewed them. Um, it only took me I think like a total of $100 compared to $400 for some curtains that I've heard people spend money on. Uh, and then that keeps it really warm or cool in here during the day. And then in the dinette section, I do have storage. So a lot of people with dinettes, they don't have storage um, in their dinette unless they have to flip it up. So my goal was to have the storage in the front, that way I could access that and then have the uh, booth pull out as well. So under here, I just have the buddy heater and then a bunch of paint related items. And same for that one, just like makeup, paint related items, and just a bunch of things, again, that we need to put somewhere in the bus. Every single part of the bus is just storage, 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 anywhere that you can find, put something there. <laughs> and then this is my uh, little studio section that I have in the bus. I just set my paint up right here, move my easel back a little bit. And then I can just pull from here and then I'll have my setup of mineral spirits and where I'll put my paint whenever I'm mixing paint colors. And then I have a drop cloth that I put down as well. And this has been really nice just to have my own little like section uh, just to be creative. So the way we make money on the road is I'm a full-time artist and I'm a muralist as well. So I paint um, small paintings and then I do murals. And so right now we're actually headed to Salt Lake City to do 42 walls and that's 
a lot of where the money comes from and then he's also and right now i'm a freelance web developer looking for a job at the moment but the freelance has been doing us well so if you need a website built contact justin sure. kelly <laughs> I'd say our favorite aspect of living on the road is ha gaining the experiences that are rare to yeah. gain throughout the lifetime. Meeting new people too. Because both of our parents sit at home and they say they wish they would have done this with their life, done this with their life. So, and we just, we both took that in and we're like, we don't want to live like that our whole lives. Yeah. One of my favorite aspects as well is just the freedom and being able to go anywhere and see anything that we want. Um, just being in the middle of nowhere with absolutely no one has just been amazing. And then when we're ready, when we're ready for the city, we can just we can pack up and leave. Yeah, we can just leave. Time. Yeah, it's been amazing. I love living this lifestyle. On the outside, we have our 12 gallon uh, gray water tank that runs just from our shower. Right now, we do not have any like 45 gallon. That's what we plan on getting soon for right here. But right now, we just have to do with the 12 gallon. We'll hook it up every once in a while. It'll get us a shower. So moving to the back, we have the bike rack. It holds both of our bikes. Before we had this one, we had some rigged up one and it just was not safe at all. So we got rid of that. Um, we also have our back deck. Emma's dad welded um, the frame out a little bit and we put four by four posts underneath and screwed down into those and that's how we made that. We have a 20 pound propane tank that runs our hot water heater that's back there. And then we also have a generator, that's our backup if we ever need it. Then moving over here, I mean, it's just the regular stuff. Up top, we have the rooftop deck that's um, welded into the frame of the bus, the tie rods, I think. And then we have four by four sitting on top of that and they're screwed directly down into the post. We have 400 watts of solar up top and then you can't see it from right here, but we also have the Max Air Fan. When it comes to the make and model of the bus, we have an E450 Super Duty V10 engine. Um, these engines are very reliable, but at the same time, they are also very fragile at the same time. So you just make sure you do maintenance on them. We have about 164,000 miles on the chassis and 60,000 on the new engine that we got in it. Overall, the bus probably cost us about $7,200 to buy and $16,000 for the whole build. Up here we have the light bar. If we're ever on some BLM roads and we get there late at night, that's what that's really used for. If we're driving late at night and we're worried about hitting animals, that's what we keep the, the lookout for. And then this is one of our most favorite parts of the bus. We actually just put this on not even a month and a half ago, something like that. Um, have the door. It's framed in. There's a two by six frame all the way around and then a one by two frame that stops it and with a deadbolt that's keyed on each side for safety. If you're considering living this lifestyle, make sure you have a plan and expect more, um, or expect that you're gonna spend more than you think you are. Yeah. And you're gonna spend a lot more time building than you think you are. We had a budget of like 10,000, it ended up being 16,000. We had a timeline of like six months, it ended up being 10 months. So just take into account of how much you actually want out of your build. Yeah, and always just take into account like everything in your bus, plan it accordingly because there are some things that we did not plan going into projects yeah. and we wish we could have. For example, the gray water tank, we would have had it yeah. all on one so side. An example is we put our sink on one side and our shower on the other side. So now our gray water tanks can't connect together. So we have two separate gray, gray water tanks. I mean, they could, but it would be, yeah, it's a whole thing. They should just all be on one side. Yeah, just plan your layout a lot more than you think you need to. You can follow us on Instagram at Willow on Wheels underscore. And uh, you can follow us on, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also just Willow on Wheels and we post pretty regularly on both and you'll see all of our journey of just where we travel to and what we're up to fine you can find me on instagram at justin kelly 18 k-e-l-l-e-y and then also my personal account is just emma gilbert art thanks for watching everybody we hope you enjoyed this tour of our tiny home on wheels <laughs>